we will take a look at how we can get streaming responses from GPT-3 API using stream, like how GPT responds to us when we're talking to it. Let's try another one. There we go. Let's ask for a Python list of 10 colors. So this works perfectly. It speeds up the response time. Let's take a look at how we can achieve this using Streamlit. To follow along, you'll need the Streamlit pip install. This is a great way of building quick web apps. Just their documentation is a breeze. Right here, pip install Streamlit. Let's quickly take a look at how we can get streaming responses from OpenAI's API. We just simply set the stream to be through. Then, if we were to say for R in response, print R for a prompt that says, what is the tallest mountain in the world and where it is? As you can see, we're going to get a bunch of printouts. And as you see, each one of these is a response object with a, diff with a single token as its text value. So if you were to make an empty string and for each R in response, add the text element to the streaming text and then print the streaming text, let's see what happens in this case. See, we are printing each token as it is appending to the streaming text. So this is pretty much how it works, but we're going to have to obviously have it in a web-based user interface. This is our code for a streamlet for a streaming response from OpenAI. It's pretty quick, only 40 lines of code. Let's run our app and see and compare the code to the app and examine what's happening. To run our code, we're going to start a terminal and we need to get the command prompt. We click on this arrow button and get the command prompt. And then we write streamlit and then run and whatever the name of our file is. In this case, openai streaming.py. When we click enter, a browser window will pop out. Yeah, just like this. Enter your question here and a user input. I'm just going to make them side by side. So we are reporting openai and streamlit as st. I have already set my user environment variable for OpenAI underscore API key. You do need an OpenAI API key to get responses from GPT-3. And I'm creating a placeholder holder underscore response for user input. So we're going to use this. And I'm defining the user input here with the same placeholder to have enter your question here as a title and a key of user input. After that, I'm just simply printing that the app has started so we can see in the console. And I have a stream, streaming response list and a completion text. We probably don't need this currently. And I'm putting a placeholder underscore response to empty, which is going to be what we'll be displaying right underneath our input box. And the completion text is set to empty because we're going to be filling it as the responses come, start coming in. And then I say, if there is a user input, this is a bool value. It's the same as saying not empty, right? We could have done it like this, but the short way of doing this is to say that if user input, this means there has the user input cannot be empty. We actually got rid of this. And then we just put a placeholder response text to say waiting for a response. And then we print getting response. Then we make a request to OpenAI's DaVinci 003 endpoint, entering the user input as our prompt and getting up to 50 max tokens with the streaming being through. So then as we are getting the responses, as you can see, we look for each response in a series of responses that are coming to us. And we get the text of each streaming response and assign it to our underscore text. And then we append it to our empty string, which we have defined right here. After that, we just simply write to the streamlit UI with the placeholder underscore response dot markdown completion text. And then we print end on our terminal just to see the process has ended. This is to print the entire text on the terminal after it's been fully completed. This is the entire code you need to get streaming responses from OpenAI and actually includes the Streamlit UI as well. I will put this entire file on Patreon for my supporters, but you can also copy it from the video as well. I'll put the link in the description. Let's end it with a few examples. I also started a Discord channel so if you like to talk about this kind of stuff, please join. I'll put the link in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.